So Pixel OS is once again back with a new update and this one is based on the latest QPR stable. It's giving you the latest security patch and some of the new features, new things are added to this build. We will talk about all of those things in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. First one is it is having the latest security patch which is December 2023 and it's based on the QPR stable version which means new lock screen clocks and etc etc. Same things which you were looking forward to in Android 14 based custom rooms are already present here. Some new features are also available. Some new things are added to this build. So we will talk about all of those things in this video. And as I just mentioned, stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. First one is let me tell you that if you move on to the about phone section, you will find you have the battery information option available there. Although in my case, this is Poco F3. If I open this cycle count is showing zero. Um, I'm not exactly sure how the things will go on, but it's included here. Maybe if I charge my device for one time or two times, I'll get to know more information about this one. By default, it's showing zero. So let's see how this will behave. Secondly, if I move on to the app info from any app, you will find the package name is available at the bottom. For any app, you can simply check it out. This could be a very useful thing in some cases. You also have the separate language style already available. Language options are available. So you can choose language according to per app. One more thing is if you move on to the battery options, you will find battery estimate option. You can simply hide the battery estimate in the quick settings panel or you can enable that. What this is, if I enable this option, open the quick settings panel, you will find until 11.45 p.m. This is a battery estimate available here in the status bar, quick settings status bar. But if I disable that option, I mean, if I don't want that, I can simply disable this and then I will see the battery percentage right there. This is quite underrated, but quite useful thing available here. And it's available in this latest Pixel OS update. One more thing is, as it is with the last build when I made video on this version, it was not having the face unlock option available, but now it's there. You can set up face unlock. I don't use face unlock much on my devices, but it's available here. And I just want to let you know in case if you want to use this, then this feature is available here. You can simply use fingerprint in case you don't want to use the face unlock on your devices, but it's available here. It's, it's implemented from Paranoid Android Custom Room. I guess it's ported from there. One more thing is you will find in display settings high touch polling rate. It was also not available in the previous updates in the previous build, but in this update it's there. It could be device specific, but most of the devices should support that. One more thing is in the display settings you will find live display option. It was available in Pixel Experience Custom Room 2, available in few of the custom rooms, but not every, but Pixel OS is bringing you this feature. You can enable the reading mode from here. You can adjust the on-screen colors. You can adjust the saturation, intensity, and contrast. Basically, almost everything regarding to display colors. Could be a very good choice, good choice for you, but yes, you can check it out. Other than else, one more thing is, if I move on to the security and privacy option, you will also find ignore Windows secure flags. The option which actually I was looking forward to, it was not available anywhere, but at last I found it is available in the more security and privacy options. You can simply search for it in case you don't find it. This is a very useful feature. Simply removes the screenshot and screen record limit for all the applications. Normally, some applications don't allow you to do so, but with the help of this option or by enabling this option, you will be able to do that. Other than else, as it is a Pixel OS, so which means all the Pixel features, Pixel specific features are already present here. The Pixel Launcher and even in the wallpaper section, you will find the AI wallpapers which are included here. But one thing keep in mind, for example, if I open this, by the way, this you should not keep this thing in your mind, by the way, because in my case, I'm just using it and I haven't even installed, I haven't even tried my Google account yet. I haven't added my Google account yet. So that is why it will not work for me. But if you add it, if you try to customize these things, simply add your Google account and you will be able to use these AI wallpapers on your device. These looks quite good. One more thing is if I move on to the other options, things are looking pretty much amazing. It's simple stock pixel UI pixel goodies. All the pixel features are available. Links are already available in the description. I will see you in the next one. Make sure to like this video. Goodbye.